Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel. Today we'll be doing a review on Private Firewall by PrivacyWare. So first let's take a look at what features they offer. Um, this is their website and uh, these are the features. So this is an intrusion detection and uh, firewall software. It's uh, got support for Windows 7, Vista and XP and basically these are the main features. It gives you zero-day antivirus protection, zero-day spyware protection, and zero-day malware protection. It also comes with IP version 6 or version 4 packet filtering and behavioral hacker protection and it's got top-rated leak defense, anti-loggers, application control, process control and protection, registry protection, system anomaly detection, email anomaly detection, and it is free. So this is what we're dealing with. It's a free firewall. So now let me open up the actual user interface. This is it. Now you can see we've got uh, different things over here. We have internet security, and this is the way it's set up by default. I haven't changed any settings. Then we've got applications, process monitor, and you can set it to either medium high or off. And we've got our logs and the firewall. We can see our ports. And uh, we can change it to allow traffic, block traffic, or just filter it and uh, in the advanced settings we can see that it's set to standard control so it's going to alert and auto respond so you're not going to have to take any big decisions and then we've got uh, trusted publishers it's not a really big list so I guess you'll have to add some things over here maybe you might not find many applications that you use in this list but it still has most of the major things from what I can see. And then it detects uh, your system applications and all of these are going to be allowed. Then it has uh, system and email anomaly detection. It's uh, turned off by default, the email one. But the system anomaly detection is turned on and it's going to train itself for seven days and the sensitivity threshold is 60 percent so when it goes below that or over that I don't know <laughs> whether it goes over or below but uh, when something really strange happens to your system it's going to tell you so that's the way it's set up by default I haven't changed any settings as I said and that lo that's basically it. Let me do this one more time just to show you guys. So now first of all let's just give it the Komodo leak test. Now this is going, what this thing does is uh, this thing tries various uh, methods to inject things into your system and tries to find out if your firewall is going to block all of these. So let's do the test and let's see what kind of score we get with private firewall. I'm gonna hit block whenever I'm asked. So some part of the test might take a little bit longer than the others so I think I might pause like this one so I'm pretty sure it's going to take some time. The test is complete and as you can see it scored 300 out of 340. So we're still left vulnerable at a few points. Let's see what they are. It's a uh, rootkit installation, change uh, to DRV path. So it's, uh, it might uh, leave you unprotected against some kinds of rootkits and it didn't stop the injection of known DLLs and I'm not really I mean a big expert on this what each part is but 
So hijacking of startup programs is also not blocked. But anyway, I mean 300 out of 340 is not too bad. So now let's get to the real testing. You saw what Komodo said? I mean the leak test? So now I've got some malware here. These are all verified malware. There are no false positives in there. So what I'll do is I'll run off not all but some of these malware and we'll see how private firewall detects and prevents system intrusions. So as usual I'll have it uh, in default settings and before we start running these things let me just get kill switch open up. Welcome back I have kill switch open up and it's set to hide safe process and just one more time private firewall is enabled and process monitor is set to medium so let's get testing let's try the first piece of malware and now I get an alert it's going to block it automatically if I don't answer it so I'll block it anyway and uh, it says activity related to this process it doesn't really tell you too much from what I've seen doesn't tell you whether or not uh, what exactly it's doing that's making these alerts come up but it just tells you to block it so I'm going to block it this process is still running it's Trojanware win32 something and private firewall is blocking its actions so it's in memory and it's uh, caught by Windows Defender so let, we'll find out towards the end if it really did any damage because you can see fire, private firewall is constantly blocking some of its actions this is the second one okay I'll block it okay so it looks like a lot of items just crashed because they weren't allowed to do what they wanted to do so this one was removed as well so you can see it's doing very well so far I mean it's getting the stuff it's blocking the stuff and then removing it okay this one still you know desperately trying to get past private firewall and we're going to block it I'm pretty sure it's going to crash as well okay so this one's uh, still there it's determined to try to find a way around private firewall Here's some more stuff. So let's go to the bottom and try some more. Okay, this is backdoor win32 wootbot.ncb. So the process monitor is blocking a lot of actions in here. We've got multiple malware process in memory now, but uh, I'm not sure if they're actually being able to do the damage because private firewall is blocking a lot of stuff so something just tried to open up the registry there and make some changes I guess 
this uh, Win32 dropper. We've got two unclassified malware. And this one just crashed. So I'll just try a few more. You can see we've got a ton of process running in here, but uh, they're all probably getting blocked in some way or the other. We'll find out towards the end of the test if Private Firewall let them do something malicious. This one just crashed. And that's all the files that we're going to try. I think we've tried over 25 files at least. And we've got a lot of stuff running in memory here, so now let's see. Right now, I'm not really having a lot of hard disk or internet ex activity. It's uh, basically the system's just sitting down. Now let's see if these things are trying to do anything over here. Yep, surely they are. I mean, CPU usage is 100%. So something's trying to do something, that's for sure. Let me keep blocking here. So this net.exe just terminated. So I'll pause the video right now. I'll let these process, uh, you know, do some more stuff. Let's see if they try to do anything else. If not, I will remove them and uh, remove the folder of malware and then I will try to find out if private firewall let in any malware traces and if I find any malware traces in the system. So then basically I'll be doing a scan with malware bytes and I'll show you guys the results. Welcome back everybody. I rebooted the computer, ran CCleaner to clean out the temp files and then I did the scan with malware bytes to see if anything was missed but uh, it says the system is clean and now just for a change I'll do a scan with trend micro house call and I'll be back with the results trend micro house call just finished scanning and it says it hasn't found any threats on this computer so finally I will do a scan with hitman pro and let's see if it identifies any malicious objects Hitman Pro just completed the scan and it also identified, did not identify any threats. So Private Firewall successfully blocked every single intrusion that the malware tried to make. And I also did not get any false alarms while running my security scanners. So this is a pretty good piece of software. It does what it says it's supposed to do. and. Uh, one more thing that uh, you might be anxious about is uh, how to know whether or not or why and how a file was blocked. So if you want to know that, you can open up the advanced reports and it will take you through their logs. And here you can see yeah, you can see exactly why the malware got identified like this one got identified because it tried to write to a protected registry area and this one tried to manipulate protected file objects and uh, you can see all the actions that the malware tried to make and uh, why it got detected so that's really nice and uh, the only thing that I think they should work on is the interface it could really use a little bit of makeup but other than that, security-wise, it's very good program. Uh, and let's remember that it only came second to Komodo in the Matusek tests. So this is certainly one of the best intrusion prevention software that you'll find.
for free at least. And so if you're using an antivirus that does not give you zero day malware protection, this could do this could fill up the gap and uh, keep you a lot more secure. And as you saw, even without an antivirus, it managed to protect the computer fairly well. So that's it for this review. Have a nice day, and I'll talk to everybody later.